What's up guys, this is Adrian Jr. with Sin City Outdoors and today I'm bringing out my Gamo. Um, I don't know what it is about these pellet guns but I haven't been able to get a real tight shot group with them. So I did some studying on how to shoot them. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the artillery hold. That's how you're supposed to shoot a pellet rifle. And I don't have any targets with me, I'm out of range so I have this soda can. And if I can get my shot grouping within that right there at about 25 30 yards and then I'm gonna go after rabbits today if I can't then I'm not but I'm just gonna show you guys the artillery hold and we're gonna be shooting this thing maybe even get some rabbits with it so let's go ahead and get started so we're out here at a legal range outside of city limits of Las Vegas so I'm gonna go back there and explain the artillery hold because it's actually really windy right now Alright guys, this is my Gamma rifle right here. It's a 177 caliber and it shoots 1300 FPS. Uh, it'll run you about 170, probably around there. So when I first bought this thing, I was having troubles with it. I couldn't shoot a good, a good shot grouping. And I did some research and I found something called the artillery hold. So most people when they're actually shooting like a real rifle and they, they think they need to do the same thing with the pellet rifle so they're you know putting their hand all the way around squeezing it tight on their shoulder and making sure that it doesn't recoil hard so that's that's what you do not want to do with a spring loaded pellet rifle because that spring condenses when you break it in half and when you're holding it super tight you're limiting the springs movement it wants to move around so what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to hold the rifle really loosely so you're going to hold it loose. You want the rifle to be able to move back and forth. It's almost good to rest it on something also. And just let the rifle do what it wants to. And believe me, your shot groupings will get a thousand times better. And overall, it's been working for me. And if you're having troubles with your pellet rifle also, I recommend you doing it. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I mean. Actually, when you shoot and the difference in the shot grouping you'll be getting. So I'm just going to make a two inch circle on this piece of wood right here. This is going to be for the old way I was shooting. Good enough. So this is going to be the old way I'm shooting. And that other side right there is going to be for the artillery hold. The new way. I can see this in the scope still so it'll work. If I can get a consistent shot grouping then I'm going to go on a rabbit hunt. And Okay, there's a little rabbit we're also going to be aiming at, so let's go ahead and get to shooting. Okay, I'm doing three shots, my old way of shooting. Target's at 25 yards, it's going to be the very left target. So I took my three shots, and as you can see they're not very consistent. And that's because I'm not allowing the spring to do what it wants to do. So now I'm going to take three with the artillery hold right here, and they should be better. So let's go see what happens. So when you notice I'm shooting now with the artillery hold, I'm holding the weapon light, my hands open. So let's see what happens. Very right target. Just letting the weapon do what it wants to. Alright, I took my three shots. We're going to go see what happens. So here are my three shots right here. The grouping's way tighter than the grouping when I wasn't doing the artillery hold. Uh, looks like the rifle might need a little click to the left and it'll be all just fine. Alright, so I'm going to give it two clicks to the left. And I'm going to try to put five rounds in the rabbit drawing's head. And if it happens, then we're good enough to hunt. Alright guys, change of plans. Uh, it's hard to see in the scope, so we're actually going to shoot this. If I could put three rounds in there, we're good to go rabbit hunting. Hit it. This is shot number three. Got it. Alright. We're ready. So one problem I've noticed 
with these pellets if they're not made consistent the lo the ones that go on loose are not as accurate the ones that come in really tight are actually dead on and if they're loose they can be off up to half an inch so this one was tight and i should hit the camera this one. yep so we're good all right the camera's falling over but i put some rounds in it so it should be off good. Two of them actually went in the same hole. It actually fell over like this, so that's where we're shooting it. There's two. It's perfect. So our hunting spot's about five miles from here, so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to go hunting. So right here at our rabbit spot, we're looking for a green spot to jump out and start stalking some rabbits with the pellet gun. But make sure you guys follow my Instagram and my Facebook. I try to keep you guys up to date. I post a lot on there. Um, also on the stories and everything so go ahead and check them out subscribe to the channel I post quite a bit outdoor hunting and fishing videos and also my posting has been a little bit off off pattern but I've been busy lately trying to trying to do stuff for the monsoon season right now so it's been pouring a lot lately but I'll try to keep you guys up to date on my Instagram and my Facebook so go ahead and check them out all right guys we're out here for our hunting spot loaded ready to go remember black tailed jackrabbits are an unprotected species so you can hunt them and do anything just as long as you have a legal weapon and they are they actually encourage you to help manage their population because there's a lot of them so we're going out to get some today so let's see how we do Right next to that Joshua tree. All right, so I took about a 40 yard shot on a rabbit. I was using an artillery hold. Worked out great, so let's go see where we hit him. He just pretty much dropped in his tracks. Alright guys, so we got our black-tailed jackrabbit. Um, I'll tell you guys, it is pretty difficult to get them out here in this heat. But these gam this gamble right here isn't really made for like super good accuracy or hunting. It's more of like a recreational one. So, I mean, I believe that the artillery hold does work. So you guys go ahead and give it a try to decide what you guys like. Leave a comment if it actually works better for you. Because I like to see that I'm helping people. So continue to harvest these, these rabbits here their numbers are really high that they actually encourage you to help harvest these guys so one thing I want to make sure you guys all do is just make sure when you're harvesting an animal to make sure it has a clean ethical kill we got a headshot on this guy so he was out before he even knew what happened but thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors